a tiring day, all you want to do is jump in bed, surround yourself with pillows, and finally go to slumberland. However, when was the last time you ever said that you had a good night's sleep? If this wasn't recent, then don't you worry, cause we're here to give you the top 10 tips to achieve the best sleep you've ever had. Before we give out these tips, make sure to like and subscribe to How To Be and click the notification bell to get the latest videos of our channel. Ready? Let's get started. Number 10. Temperature should be at 68 degrees. You don't want to wake up freezing or covered in sweat. Research says that the perfect room temperature is at 68 degrees. It's a great temperature to start out with. However, if you find yourself still freezing under layers of blankets, then bundle up. If you wake up sweating or shivering, increase or decrease the temperature accordingly to get the best sleep possible. Number 9. Inconsistent Bedtime You probably know that one night of bad sleep can leave you feeling cranky the next day, and one of the main reasons behind that is inconsistent sleep schedule. Going to bed at 8 o'clock one night and then 10 o'clock the next night is a mistake, according to the latest reports. Even a one-hour difference each night makes a significant difference. So, if we don't want to lead to worse behavior, slower development, and health issues, then we have to choose a bedtime schedule and be consistent at it. Number 8. Alcohol Anyone who drinks alcohol from time to time knows that beer, wine, or spirits can sometimes leave you feeling drowsy. In fact, as many as 20% of Americans use alcohol to help them fall asleep. But while alcohol, a depressant, can help you fall asleep faster, it also contributes to poor quality sleep later. And here are the reasons why. It interrupts your circadian rhythm aka your body clock. It aggravates breathing problems. And it leads to extra bathroom trips. Number 7. Too much light. Exposure to light stimulates a nerve pathway from the eye to parts of the brain that control hormones, body temperature, and other functions that play a role in making us feel sleepy or wide awake. Too much light right before bedtime may prevent you from getting a good night's sleep. In fact, one study recently found that exposure to unnatural light circles may have real consequences for our health, including increased risk for depression. Regulating exposure to light is an effective way to keep circadian rhythms in check. Number 6. Exercising at night Exercising raises your body temperature, speeds up your heart rate, and stimulates your nervous system. Exercising intensely too close to bed for some people can lead to interrupted sleep. So our suggestion is to exercise at least two hours prior your bedtime. Number 5. Messy Bedroom A study conducted by New York St. Lawrence University has revealed that a messy bedroom can lead to a poor night's sleep and increased anxiety. The study found that people who have more clutter filling the open space in their bedrooms take longer to fall asleep than those with neat and tidy rooms, leading to increased tiredness and making it less likely that they will tidy their room the following day. It's a vicious, untidy, yawn-fueled cycle. The bedroom should be a place of relaxation where we put ourselves as well as our worries of the day to bed and get the beauty sleep we all need. Although, for some of us, that can be easier said than done. Number 4. Caffeine late in the day I think it's pretty obvious that we really shouldn't take caffeine if we're about to sleep. Caffeine is a type of drug that promotes alertness. These drugs are called stimulants. Caffeine begins to affect your body very quickly. It reaches a peak level in your blood with 30 to 60 minutes. It has a half-life of 3 to 5 hours. The half-life is the time it takes for your body to eliminate half of the drug. The remaining caffeine can stay in your body for a long time. So if you're about to sleep, don't drink coffee. Number 3. Big Meals at Night 
According to the results of a new study, the timing of food intake may have a significant effect on sleep patterns. Eating more before bedtime may result in disruptions to healthy sleep patterns. They found that eating more heavily at night was associated with deterioration to several measurements of sleep quality. Plus, if you're trying to lose weight, it becomes nearly impossible if you eat before you sleep because the body will have a difficult time digesting the food you ate. Number 2. Noisy Bedroom we know that peace and quiet is quite impossible to achieve, but did you know that the routine you're used to affects your supposed good sleep? To get the sleep that you need, it's important to protect your sleep environment against unwanted sound for the duration of your night's rest. While you snooze, the sleeping brain continues to register and process sound. Noises can create restlessness in sleep even if they don't wake you fully. And these interruptions affect sleep quality and the movements from lighter to deeper stages of sleep. And now, the ultimate reason as to why you're not getting that good night's sleep. Number 1. Electronics, Blue Lights, Phones, TV Using TVs, tablets, smartphones, laptops, or other electronic devices before bed delays your body's internal clock, aka your circadian rhythm, suppresses the release of the sleep-inducing hormone melatonin, and makes it more difficult to fall asleep. This is largely due to the short wavelength, artificial blue light that is emitted by these devices. The more electronic devices that a person uses in the evening, the harder it is to fall asleep or stay asleep. It will be a good idea to turn off the blue light devices one hour prior to bedtime for a better night's sleep. And there you have it, the top 10 reasons as to why you're not getting that good night's sleep you deserve. Do the complete opposite and let us know in the comments if it helped you improve your sleep. Make sure to like and subscribe to How To Be so we can all do it together. And hit that notification bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching How To Be and until next time.